He's never had an intimate, a real intimate romantic relationship. He was married, but it was arranged. Has a daughter he loves. The marriage is over, I assume. Arranged marriage is over. But it was never intimate even when it existed. 48 non-sannyasi. How does he know? People tell him she's going to come to you. Well, there's, there's two aspects of this, and I would, I would suggest actually working at it from both sides. And this is, this is true about so much of that which afflicts us in life. Aspect number one is on the true nature of who I am level, the soul, spirit, consciousness level, is the awareness that you don't need another human being in order to feel love. You don't need another human being in order to feel intimacy. Other people catalyze that experience in us, but we don't actually need another person for it. This is where we have traditions in, in all the religions of saints and sages and mystics and people who were the most blissful, <coughs> oozing love, <coughs> oozing joy, oozing ecstasy. People who not only were celibate and not married, but didn't even have, you know, well, a really good friend circle that I can hang out with and lots of people I really like, I mean, who basically lived their lives alone meditating in caves or wandering in the jungles. Love exists within you. Most of us are used to having someone else turn it on and so we feel, oh, I love you. But here's my favorite way to think about this. Those air conditioners give us cold air, okay? So the people sitting over there on the couch get the most cold air because they're the closest. I, sitting over here at the far end of the room, get the least amount of cold air. If I walk out the door and go around the wall, you don't get any cold air because the cold air exists in that machine. But when you love someone, let's just take your daughter for now who you love dearly. Where is she right now? California. Okay, other end of the world. Do you love her? Can you feel it? So is the love in her or in you? Good. Okay. If the love were in her, then like the air conditioner, the farther away you got, the less love you'd feel. Put that air conditioner 10,000 miles away, you're not going to get any cold air. But our loved one can be as far away as they may be. They may have even passed away. But we still love them. We still have access to that love. As they grow, as their bodies change, as they're thousands of miles away, as they take a whole new form in, from death to rebirth, that love is within us. And so it's important to realize that you don't actually need another human being. You don't need romance to feel love. We've been a little bit indoctrinated by Hallmark and all sorts of other companies who sell greeting cards and chocolates and whatever else are kind of parts of how we think of romance. Be that somehow the romance is an intrinsic element of a love relationship. Oh, you brought me a Hallmark card, you must love me. Well, this is how Hallmark does business. 
If there's no hallmark, there's no love. Good for them, but bad for people who don't have that experience of love. Sitting across from somebody at a candlelit dinner is not the only way to experience love in your heart. Most of those dinners end in divorce. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, look at, just look at global statistics. <laughs> Find that love in you. That love that exists in you. Turn that on. Love, you love your daughter. Can you experience the fullness of divine love, love for God? Because ultimately the point of love is to love God. That's why being in love feels so good. The words that we use to describe love, think about it. We talk about melting and merging and oceans and volcanoes. I mean, nobody talks about contracting in love. We talk about expanding in love. Because the experience of who I am expands. I no longer feel like I end here, right? We're together, now, now there's we. Now it's bigger than me, it's we. And in that experience of expansion, I'm closer to the truth of who I am, which is expansiveness. But you don't need a physical body next to you to feel expansive. That's a medium to experience a greater sense of expansion. The greater sense of expansion is the truth of who you are. Dive into your spiritual practice. And what I would say is also love as much as you can. Don't worry about romantic love. Seriously, love trees, love sunset, love your daughter, love other family members, love your closest friends. Just try to experience as much love in your life as you possibly can. And don't, I wouldn't say she's going to come to you. I, I don't know. I mean, if you were told that by a really good psychic clairvoyant, I'd say, all right, maybe it's true. But as a general policy, and this is now moving into the more, the practical side. So we have the highest truth, deepest side. And then we have the, okay, here I am in this physical body incarnation piece. Okay. Well, for that side, I'd say don't expect her to come to you. When you become love, you attract love. It may not be romantic love. At the end of the day, what you attract may simply be an experience of the trees loving you back. An experience of the sunset and the ocean loving you back. An experience of all your friends loving you back. And ultimately, hopefully, because that's the point, an experience of loving God and God loving you. When we, when we love anyone or anything, when we really love them, what we're loving is God. Because we're loving soul, we're loving spirit, we're loving essence. If we're loving just form, it's lust. So if we're really loving, we're loving God. So look for all the opportunities to love God. And who knows, one of them may turn out to be a woman or a man with whom you find an intimate romantic relationship. And it may not. Some of my most beautiful moments of love have been with trees. I wouldn't trade them for anything in the whole world. Really. So don't, don't limit your, your vision of love to that it has to be a romantic partner. Expect
expand that vision. And then if you find her, she finds you, he finds you, you find him, whatever it may be, great. If not, also great. Because you're not missing love in your life. 